Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Another food review for you. I was feeling the food review today. I was just feeling it. When I woke up, I said, you know what? This is going to be a food review type of day. So a food review it is. Now I was kind of debating as to, to what I'm going to review. Because Burger King, you know, you know they relentlessly uh, flood the market with new, new creations, good or bad. And they have their... Um, uh, their sugar dough king, and I was thinking, well, maybe I could try that. Um, maybe I could give the meatloaf king a try, whatever it's called. But then I saw that Taco Bell released something also, and I said, you know what? No, I recently did the Burger King review with the the chicken sandwich, and uh, all of that. I said, no, I'm gonna give Taco Bell a try. So here I am at Taco Bell, and I guess I'm giving them a try. So that's what I'm doing. Now this is their triple. Melt Burrito. Uh, this one, I remember, they used to have it about 40 years ago or so. And uh, that was back in the glory days, of course. But they're bringing it back. It's a, kind of a re-release, but, you know, they're, they're, they're kind of changing a few things around with it. Triple Melt Burrito, though. What makes it a Triple Melt Burrito, you may ask? Well, obviously, it has a three-cheese blend, seasoned beef, seasoned rice, and nacho cheese. And before I filmed this, I kind of, I, I, I was kind of questioning the entire, I guess, meaning of life, you could even go as far as to say. Because it's called a triple melt burrito. For it's implied. Triple melt, three times the amount of cheese. Therefore, triple melt burrito, right? But it has a three cheese blend. And it also has nacho cheese. So wouldn't that make it the quadruple melt burrito? Unless one of the cheeses in the three cheese blend is nacho cheese. But then why do they explicitly mention nacho cheese again as an ingredient on their website? So is it the triple melt burrito? Is it the quadruple melt burrito? Maybe there's like a dozen cheeses in there and they're just kind of playing some mind games with us. Who knows? But it is what it is. This is just what it's called. And let's open this thing up and see what exactly lieth within the, uh, the wrapping here. The burrito. There it is. It's kind of plopping there, you know. It's just lounging. Lounging. It's in the morning sun. Filming this in the morning. There it is. That's, it's wrapped pretty nicely. You can see it's, you know, they sealed it up. They sealed it up good, so there's no, no tears, no rips in it, no seepage or leakage or any of that so that's good but looks good looks appetizing you know what's in it i know what's in it nice and warm and fresh i'm gonna give it a try and uh we'll go from there that's a triple melt burrito from taco bell going in This is just that point in the video where I just eat the product and introspectively think about things whilst doing so. Take one bite. Break right this break this thing off. Crazy with the cross sections there. Yeah, I decided to give uh, give Taco Bell a try. Anthony Fantano, he's got the pizza market covered at this point in time, so you know I'm staying away from that for now. I'm just trying out these uh, these new wraps from, from Taco Bell. 
Fantano. He's a good guy, though. He is. He's great. When it comes down to burritos from Taco Bell, admittedly, I can get a little picky because it's, it, you know, my own personal taste comes in there. I always try when I do these reviews to be as unbiased as possible. I try to say, what is Taco Bell going for when they, they kind of got at the drawing board to do this product? Who are they trying to target? And what are they really trying to exemplify in this product? And sometimes I might not be a fan of some of those things. But just because I may not be a fan of certain things doesn't mean because I might not like a certain, let's say, a certain type of sauce, right? Or a certain type of cheese or whatever, means the product is there, therefore inherently bad. It's not true. This burrito is trying to really target those who, who like all things cheesy, okay? They call it the triple melt burrito. It's probably got a four cheese blend, but we'll just call it the triple melt burrito because otherwise, let's not even go there anymore. But that's just a, that's a dark place. Let's not even go there. It's very cheesy. It's very cheesy, and it has. And this is just something that you have to be aware of. See, when I like eating the burritos, I like it more so where it's more structured on the inside, where you'd have lettuce and tomato, and you'd have the meat, and it's not like a soup in there. You know, it's not like just liquid in there. And that's just my personal taste when it comes down to burritos. That's how I like them. But if you like things that are really cheesy and gooey and that might have the beef there and some of the little, you know, rice pieces, but overall it's just really gooey and cheesy and liquidy on the inside, then you're going to love this. Because that's what it is in terms of consistency, and it's very cheesy. Um, you, you can really, you can taste the nacho cheese. So it's clear that that likely wasn't part of the three cheese blender, if anything, it's heavily emphasized. Um, but in terms of the consistency of it, it's just very gooey, very liquidy on the inside, and very, very cheesy. That, I will tell you. Um, you could really, you can't even taste the rice. You can kind of feel it, you know, when you're, when you're trying to chew it a little bit, because that's one of the few solid things aside from the beef. Um, but otherwise, it's cheese, cheese, and more cheese. So it's a very cheesy burrito. So again, if you're a cheese lover, you're probably going to like this. And if not, you know, give it a pass. And if you're feeling, well, I'm on the edge of it, you know, I don't really know how to feel about this one. It's a buck, so it's cheap. Um, it's kind of Taco Bell's doing their thing with the dollar menu. Um, so, you know, if you, you find some spare change, you know, you could look around the parking lot for a while. You might find a couple quarters and you know, give it a shot, you know, see, see how you feel about it. But if you're a real cheese fanatic, I mean, if you are just fanatical about cheese... I would even wager, considering the consistency on the interior, you can maybe, you could do it on site, or you could bring it home, doesn't really matter. If you bring it home, at least microwave it up so it gets that gooiness again. You know, cut it in half and like use it as like a tube of toothpaste and just squirt the cheese in your mouth and, you know, have yourself a party, right? Something to do on a Saturday, right? Just enjoy a movie and just shoot that stuff in your mouth. Oh. That'd make for a, a memorable experience. But yeah, if you're a fan of cheese, you'll enjoy it. If not, I'd say, you know, take a pass, but I think a lot of people like their cheese. So you'll probably enjoy this one. Because it's certainly it's certainly prevalent, certainly evident. It's all there. Um, I'm going to try it just for the heck of it. I always like adding a little fire sauce to whatever it is I get from Taco Bell usually. So we'll see. Probably just going to add a little spiciness to the cheesiness. I don't think it's going to give a 180 change to this, but what the heck. Wish I could taste the meat a little bit more, but... For what it is, they're really emphasizing the cheese, so that's where that stands. So anything, anyway, I should say, all things considered, ingredients, price, experience, and so on and so forth, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 7.3 out of 10, um, because again, they're targeting a certain group of people with this. If you like the cheese, you're going to like it. If you don't like the cheese, pass on it, but at least the price. It's cheap, that's good.
All right, on a final note, you saw right there, I was just kind of wiping my mouth with uh, one of these Taco Bell napkins right here. And you might be thinking to yourself, you know, when I eat the Taco Bell, I want to kind of think outside the box. I want to wipe my mouth with something, maybe spice things up, wipe my mouth with something different than just some boring old napkin. Well, I got some news for you. Just now, on the Teespring store, I've got some new merchandise out. If you remember, it's the quote from the the Popeyes review where I did with the shrimp, where I said, my disappointment is immeasurable, my day is ruined. It's out, it's newly released, it's, it's up there on the store. Um, might even have a picture of it right here so you could see what you're looking at. Um, but it's just newly released, it's out today. Um, a lot of people view a request, but it's there for you. Um, get it if you're interested. And, uh, you know, you could kind of, maybe you could get one, bring it in your car with you, and you could wipe your mouth with that shirt if you want, instead of just some boring old napkin. and Kind of use it as like a little little hanky or something, you know? You, you could do whatever you want to do with it. But anyway, it's there for you if that's what you want to do with it, or if you just want to wear it, you could do that too. Um, but you could check it out. It's in the cards up there description below comments so uh, you'll be able to find it pretty easily all right that's all that i have for you ladies and gentlemen hope you enjoyed this review today's review was for the triple melt burrito from taco bell that's all that i have for you i'm your host support of the week have a pleasant weekend if you haven't been already and i'll see you probably this week with another with another video or review or some sort of content at least all right that's all take care